is there a, is there something brewing up at GWS? Well, well I'm, I'm reluctant to put too much pressure on the club at the moment because they started last year badly and they ended up, you know, winning a winning final. Winning a final, yeah. So, so they have shown in the past many times they can turn it around. But Leon Cameron's in the last year of his contract. Yep. He's clearly under the pump. You talked about the big name, long contract players not performing. The three captaincy was at the right decision. I question Toby Green, but there's a strong view and even some senior players believe that Toby Green should have got the captaincy on his own. Okay. And you've got James Hurd sitting in the coach's box. And every commentator, it seems, in commentary is saying we're hearing James is doing a great job develop with player development, part-time role. And then, you know, um, Mark Robinson, his preferred journalist, um, has <laughs> said that, you know, he's going to... I don't use that in yeah, a yeah, knocking yeah, way, but, but it he is. is. Yeah. Um, they've got a close relationship. Believes he could, you know, be the next coach says he will be the next coach of GWS and there's a suggestion that James would entertain that idea. Sorry, I, I, I missed that. Robbo said that James Heard will be the next coach of GWS. Or, or could be, or he certainly, certainly mooted it. Certainly mooted it. Do you think it. the AFL will let that happen? I'm not sure. I'm, it would be... An, look, James Heard served his penance and came back and coached and left for other reasons in the no end. No doubt about that, but given what, what we know what, now... What do you think, Ross? I think unlikely that the AFL would allow that to happen. Like, at the end of the day, we respect James and he's been... But what occurred is what occurred. It was no governance, it was an ejection program, and, and he has to have some scars. I don't think you can do a part-time leadership role and then get anointed to the AFL's expansion team that they've worked 10 hard, 10 hard years on. And then you've got AFL assistant coaches like Hanson who are doing their apprenticeship, and no, I think it'd be a massive call, and I think it, it wouldn't be good governance.